What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is episode number two of my pistol squat progression. If you guys haven't watched episode number one, in that episode we went over our mobility for our hamstrings, hips, and ankle, as well as our balance. So episode number two, we're gonna be going over our strengthening for our pistol squats. So hopefully you guys like this video, and if you do, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. First exercise we're gonna be going over is a Bulgarian split squat or a Bulgarian lunge. So we're gonna use dumbbells for this, but if you don't have equipment, by all means, you can also just use a band and a chair if you're working out at home. So picking up our dumbbells, the best way to set up your Bulgarian, you're gonna start slightly staggered. So basically one foot in front of the other, then we can just step up and place that back foot on the bench and then you're in the perfect Bulgarian lunge position. We're gonna slowly go down, hit all the way to the bottom, try to get that back knee flat against the surface if you're using a box or drop right below that bench and drive it straight up, pushing through your heel. As you go down, you wanna make sure, again, you're not caving in your knee, and you're not letting your chest drop too much. Your chest can be slightly forward just to activate those glutes a little bit more, but you don't want it falling forward, so that way you feel it in your low back. Bulgarian lunges are one of the best variations for a pistol squat, because that bottom position here is gonna help power you up in that pistol squat position on the way up right there. The next exercise we're gonna be going over is a close stance lunge. For close stance lunges, I'm gonna show you body weight first. So our legs will be relatively close so that when you drop down, your knee is roughly hitting that middle of your foot or the arch of your foot. Coming back up, and you wanna have all the pressure in your front leg. So as I'm going down, my knee is just hovering above the floor and then pushing straight up. So with dumbbells or a band, you can make it a little bit harder as it'll be weighted. You're gonna go slow all the way down. Again, knee just hovering above and then pushing straight back up. This back leg is almost like a kickstand, so it's more just there for balance. All the weight should be in that front leg to help strengthen that quad for your pistol squats. For the third exercise, we're gonna be doing a step down. So you're gonna start off at the top of an elevated surface, a box or a bench. You're gonna slowly bring yourself down so that way you only tap the heel of your foot, going down slow, tapping, pushing straight back up. So again, you wanna drive through that heel and have all the weight in this leg. What I don't wanna see is coming down and pushing yourself back up. You want it to be completely controlled and having the left leg or whatever legs on the bench doing all of the work. A progression for this, if this height is too tall, you can always start lower and slowly work yourself up. One of the main things here as well is from the side as I'm going down, I wanna make sure that I'm not, again, pushing my hip back too much where I'm breaking my alignment or from the front, I wanna make sure that when I'm going down, I'm not caving that knee in and turning my body. You wanna make sure that as you're moving up and down, you're keeping everything nice and square. Now this drill is really great for pistol squats because if you're standing here at the bottom, this is very similar to the bottom of your pistol squat where you're just driving up with the supporting leg. For the last exercise, we're gonna be doing a box single leg squat. So here I'm using a relatively low surface, but again, if you need something higher like a bench, you can definitely use that to first start off. We want our foot in front of us, other foot up. You can do this one self-spotted where you have the other heel stay down and drive up, or ideally I'd like to see that leg raised, slowly going down, sitting full contact, and then coming right back up. Eventually, as you get a little bit stronger in this leg, you'll be able to use something like a yoga block, which will bring you right down to that bottom pistol squat position, and it'll initiate that same movement that a pistol squat would look like. For this exercise, try your best to keep that front leg as high as possible. This will help transfer into your pistol squat when you try to do it freestanding. So when you're here, setting it nice and high, coming down, letting it still stay high, basically around that other bent knee height. So try not to let it drop below and then stand right back up. This is important because when you're working your freestanding pistol squats, if you let that leg drop, then it's gonna hit the floor and it kind of gets away from that true pistol squat. So you do wanna keep it up the entire time. So all those hip mobility drills and strengthening that we did earlier in episode number one is gonna be super important to carry on later into the pistol squat progression. That is it for today's video. Today in episode number two, we went through strengthening exercises for our pistol squats. If you guys want more variations, check out my app as I have two full programs on there for your pistol squat, as well as a program for dragon pistol squats. For episode number three, we're gonna be going over different types of assisted pistol squats and how they're beneficial versus not as beneficial. So hopefully you guys tune in for that and you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time.